All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. So I left the rest area. I slept really well last night. Got up this morning, went to Walmart, bought some items, some food, groceries, things like that. And I got gas. I found it for $3.64 a gallon near Port Arthur, Texas. That's what you're looking at right now. This is somewhere near Port Arthur. There's a lot of really tall bridges here. When you get up to the top, you can see the landscape out in the distance really well. And the reason the gas was cheaper here is because there's oil refineries around here, so they don't have far to transport it. So it's just right down the street from the gas station. So that was about 40 or 50 cent cheaper than anywhere else. Here's another one of those big, tall bridges. They have to make them this tall because they have these big tanker ships that go underneath them. But this is a really strong bridge. Look at the bracing on this thing. You can see the ocean out in the distance. Right now, this uh, bridge crosses one of the many, many water inlets. So now, check out this. I'm just driving down the road, and I see this little pullout right off of this road here. And look where it goes to. It stops right here at the waterfront. Totally fine to park here. I'm going to stay here all day and all night. And tomorrow I'll head on down toward Galveston. But I'm going to stay right here because I hear that cargo ships come out of the ocean and up this water inlet to load and unload. So I'm going to hang out here and wait for my ship to come in. This is a good spot. I do see some trash over there that I will need to pick up before I leave. You know, it's a shame people try to ruin a good spot with trash, but... It's, it's not too bad. I'll be picking that up here before I go because I, I might come back by here in the next couple of days and stay here again. I like this place. This is pretty cool just to be able to pull right off the road and have this spot to stay and spend the day. And I'm going to venture down to the shoreline here in just a moment. But this is a good overview here. The bank is really high up off the water, so you can see everything really well. See all that trash down there on the edge? Right there? Yeah, I'll be picking that up. You can see the hurricane did some damage to the roadway. It looks like it used to stick out further, and it all washed off. And I'm kind of afraid to walk out here too far, because I don't think there's much earth underneath this big slab. I think it's just barely hanging on by a thread. Big cracks here. So I will stay off the very edge. We'll go around underneath here in just a minute and check out what's underneath. Just see how much erosion there is. So this is supposedly where the ships come in at. And they come up all the way up this slough. I don't guess you call this a slough. This is some sort of river, I assume. They'll come in underneath that bridge out in the distance there. And then they'll make a sharp left and then come up this canal. And it must be deep if a big ship is going to get up through here. It must be a lot deeper than I'm thinking it is because it looks shallow uh, out for the first hundred yards or so. But I think the channel must be right along the other bank over there where that steel wall is built near that factory. I think that must be the deep part of the channel. But we'll find out when the next ship comes in. Oh, we didn't have to wait long. Here comes our first big ship. Looks like he's towing another little boat. I can't believe how quiet this thing is. I was having lunch and didn't even hear it coming. I just happened to glance out the side door and there it was. It's just whisper quiet. That's funny that it's towing the tugboat. I thought the little tugboat was supposed to tow it, but... I guess in this case, it's just towing it back for maintenance or something. But yeah, this is a great spot. This is so enjoyable. I'm going to sit here all day and watch the boats come in, try to get some good video, and I'll spend uh, some of the day editing down the video. This is great. I, I can't believe I found this place. I was just kind of going on down toward the beachfront more. I'll go there tomorrow or the next day. But this this place is fine for me today. I'm going to enjoy this. 
the weather is just fantastic. A little bit breezy, you know, the breeze comes off the water a bit much, but great day all around. Now we're talking, here comes Big Daddy Boat. He's twice as big as the other ship that just came by. Looks like they're towing another little tugboat too. This canal must be really deep to hold a ship like this, because you got to think, it's just about as tall but below the water as it is above the water. So this is a really deep channel. He's pulling a little tugboat there. I guess this ship will be uh, holding oil from the refineries or gas from the refineries. This one's really quiet too. I cannot believe a machine this big is so quiet. Can barely hear it. I like this shot. We can get both boats in the same frame. What a great day this is turning out to be. When I woke up this morning, I had no idea where I would be today. I've just been kind of looking through Google Maps and iOverlander and, you know, camping apps and things like that. But just meandering around and I found this place. So it looks like there is a little trail over here where I can get down to the shoreline. We'll try to get down this without breaking an ankle. Hold on, everybody. Let me let me uh, get ready for this. Let me brace myself. All right, let's just go for it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Still got my shoes on. A lot of shells down here on the shoreline. Sorry for the camera work. All right, I got my balance. Look at all these shells. I think I'll take that one. That looks nice. I'll put it in my collection of stones from the desert. Yeah, I'm glad I found that little trail because it looked like I would have to walk about a half a mile around that way just to get down here. So that was good. Look at these big slabs of pavement here with a road washed in. I don't know what the last hurricane was, but I guess it did that damage. But the erosion is pretty bad down here, up underneath the bank line. Here, let me spin around here. Well, there's another tanker coming by. Show you the erosion under here. See that slab hanging off up there? So yeah, I'm glad I didn't stand out on the very end of that pavement. It might have just uh, gave way on me. It's jutting out pretty good under there. Let's walk up here and give you a little better close-up of that. Looks like some more trash down here. I'll grab that while I'm down here before I go. Nice scene. Hello, Mr. Tanker Man. So I will scout around down here on the shoreline for a while, try to get me a good shell collection going. Looks like... Uh, there's a striped one over there. There it is. I think I'll take that one. No, you know what? I just want to touch it and I'm going to put it back for the next person. So, Merry Christmas to them. Okay, so I made it back up the trail to the top here. Didn't twist an ankle. Didn't have any injuries. Thank goodness. That's something I think about a lot as I'm out. In van life you know a lot of times I'm out by myself and you know if I broke an ankle or twisted a knee I'd be in big trouble so I always try to be really careful anytime I'm walking the trails like when I was out in the desert there was times I would step on choyas and they would come up through my shoes before I got the good hiking shoes and there was a few times I kind of twisted my back a little bit but we will wrap it up and Watch this yacht come in. You know what? Let's zoom in on him. It's not a bad little yacht. Looks like it could use a wash, though. <laughs> He's just chilling. It's a nice ride, dude. All right, my friends. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.
Thank you.